The Area American Legion Baseball Tournament is looming ever closer later this month, and a pair of local teams got an early look at each other tonight. It was an eventual, eventful matchup this evening at Bridgeport High School as Post 68 hosted Post 7 out of Buchanan. The visitors got things started against Rowan McKellis as this wild pitch brings the game's first run home in the top half of the first inning. But McKellis was able to settle things down pretty soon after, handled the very same man at the plate on strikes there, and then worked out of the inning with just that one run scoring. Buchanan got some serious work in the field tonight. You'll see that as this goes on. But there was none better than Drayden Rice right here. He reached is out and makes the play on the foul ball even though he's running out of room. But a little chaos after that. The throw gets away at first base. And then there's nobody covering third which lets Aiden Paulson go all the way up to third base. That sets up Ben McDougal to tie the game with a line single into right field and we're all even at one run apiece after six outs. Bottom of the second now. Michael Romano is going to roll one down to short with a runner at third. He beats the throw down the line and that runner comes in to put Bridgeport back in front. The score two to one. The web gems continued in this inning for post seven though. Ryder Amon goes full extension to take a hit away from Cam Cole in left center. He pulled out the go-go gadget arms to save the run there. But McDougal does the job again in the very same inning. He shoots a single into center field. That brings Ashton and Curry around from second base to score and make it a two-run game, three to one. Buchanan turns around and answers, though, in the third. The delayed steal is on with runners on the corners, and the throw winds up in center field, so Amon comes barreling down the third baseline to score. Then Grant Mealy clubs a line drive or a line drive single down the left field line to tie the game at three. But the visitors still threatening with runners on base, and Isaac Lane is going to give them the lead later on in the inning. He sends the curve ball into left center, and Mealy hustles around third to beat the throw from Aiden Paulson in center and put post seven up four to three. That didn't last long though. Bridgeport is going to tie the game in the bottom of the inning as Chris Harbert crosses on a wild pitch. That makes it four to four and then Zach Rorig down at third base is going to do the very same thing uh, and during the next at bat to give us yet another lead change within those first few innings. Post 68 added two more in the inning on a Cam Cole fielder's choice and another wild pitch. That made it seven to four. Bridgeport wins it the final 15 to five in five innings.